Hello and welcome to likely my very first video. We're gonna kick things right off with the unboxing of my AirPod Pro since they were the first to arrive. Now we're gonna pretend I didn't actually cut this open five seconds ago and reshot it just for the video. See, I thought this plasticky film was saran wrap or something similar. It is the toughest thing I've ever tried to cut through. Literally can't even cut it with a knife. And yes, I realized this was very unsafe in hindsight. Cut that off camera with scissors and sheer willpower. It was quite hard. And um, no, 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 put that away. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Well, that was unsatisfying. And these boxes are surprisingly airtight. And I could have done a much better job taking these out. Don't judge. The AirPods, even though I got them engraved, were the first thing to arrive. Presumably my iPad of choice wasn't in stock. Shipping was actually fairly quick and I'm very happy that they got here uh, early. So I had time to test them out, use them, see how it goes. And I do test the buttons on camera in a little bit. Here are the extra ear tips it comes with. I started out using the tips already on the AirPods, which are the mediums. I did the ear tip fit test and it said that I had a perfect seal, but they kept sliding out anytime I'd eat or talk for a while. And later I did a test with one small ear tip and one large ear tip. And it told me I had a perfect seal in both. So really it was a crapshoot. I stuck with the small one because I do have smaller ears. And I'm sure you've all seen it, the super quick, lightning fast Bluetooth connection between the AirPods and the iPhone. It works perfectly. Here's a quick music test. I'm gonna go ahead and slide these in my ears. One click to pause, one click to unpause. I usually have low battery, don't mind me. Two clicks to skip forward, three to go back. Let's see that one more time. And then a pause and skip. And there you go. The quite annoying thing about the AirPods is that anytime you put them back in the case or even open the case, it triggers the pop-up on the phone no matter what you're doing. So this next part's gonna go by a little bit quicker. I'm unboxing my case from Amazon that I bought for the AirPod Pros. It's got a peachy orange sort of color, comes in a larger stiff case to hold everything, whatever the, that warranty card is, a wrist strap and a black carabiner clip. I prefer using the wrist strap. The carabiner tends to be a little stiff when it's in the loop of the case. There's a tiny black spot on the inside of the case that didn't come off. It might just be part of the silicone and the AirPods slide in really easily. The charge port cover was very hard to close. I thought I was doing something wrong, but no, it's just really stiff. I later found easier ways to flip the case down and back up, but you can see me struggling with the first attempts here. It doesn't get in the way of opening or closing the AirPods when it's flipped down, but flipped up, it would prevent the case from opening accidentally if say you dropped it. And now we're moving on to the Apple Pencil. The Apple Pencil arrived much much earlier than the iPad, but since it was useless without, I waited until the iPad arrived to unbox them both.
And clearly, I didn't learn my lesson with the previous plastic wrap. It's so hard to cut. I remember the first time I expected it to be easy. It's not. If you're wondering who I'm speaking to in this clip, my boyfriend was just off camera. I was letting him know that this was uh, difficult. And there we go, the beautiful Apple Pencil. I did, however, learn my lesson that there's a pull tab. A very stuck-on pull tab. And, of course, unsatisfying as it doesn't pull all the way around. Apple really needs to work on making the unboxing experience more satisfying for their customers. It's absurd. <laughs> now, this part was satisfying. They do always have a nice airtight seal. In here, of course, we have all the, the usual paper you'd get with any Apple product. We did not, however, get any stickers with this one. Instead, the case for these papers is just real thick for no reason. And some instructions on how to use it, the double tap feature, how to change tips. But the Apple Pencil 2, which is this one, doesn't come with an extra tip as I believe the 1 did. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the 1 came with an extra tip. By the way, just want to say, after using it for a while, the double tap to switch back and forth from pen to eraser works a little too well. It's very sensitive and sometimes triggers when I even adjust my grip on the pencil. I did get this engraved, as you're about to see, with a classic do more. An idea my boyfriend and I got from Casey Neistat, which we actually really enjoy as a phrase, sort of like a motto. And now, the main event. The wonderful, amazing iPad that, oh wow, this box comes with a tab. It was uh, actually quite annoying to get that out of there. But on the bright side, there was no military grade plastic wrap to deal with. Hefty. iPad Pro. At least this wrapping came off in one piece. Here's that airtight seal putting in work. It's so satisfying to lift off though. Look at that, look at that. It takes up the entire box. Well, the entire top layer of the box. Okay, now I really tried to make this as satisfying as possible, but I didn't realize I could just hold the wrapping and pull the iPad out. Instead, I committed this monstrosity. But look at the beautiful iPad. Don't focus on three seconds ago, that's in the past. Here's the uh, camera and the Face ID scanner. A Starbucks cup reflection. The beautiful aluminum space gray finish. It is absolutely lovely. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that to the side for just a second. And all the papers, as always, some basic instructions, how to access the control panel, the app expose. Stickers. And I almost forgot. They really did not want me to find those stickers. Oh, is this? Oh, this is. Oh, they came in white. Huh. Yeah. I thought they would come in uh, space gray. They did not, in fact, come in space gray. Space gray or space gray? I've never seen them. Is it shiny underneath? Leave in the comments if you guys want us to peel this. 
<laughs> I'll peel it in the next video if you want. But for now, I'm going to leave it with the coating because I honestly prefer matte as opposed to shine. And I want to leave this here for as long as possible. If you saw my caption, it did not last very long. The brick gets really hot when it's charging and it melted the glue that made it stick, causing it to immediately start peeling off. The rest of the box is just useless hollow space. I don't think they needed all that. They really could have done with less. I would also like to mention that the basic iPad models start at a measly 32 gigabytes of storage, but the Pros now start at 128, which is nice. Oh, hello. Hola. Hello. Bonjour. Konnichiwa. I, 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 don't, I don't know this language. <laughs> oh, it turned off. It took me a second to recognize Konnichiwa as I started quote unquote learning Japanese on Duolingo. Oh, dark mode, of course. Here's some basic instructions as if they didn't just include a paper instruction manual and pretending you haven't already watched seven iPad unboxings. It is so smooth and responsive. Thank you, amazing refresh rate. I love how it says screen time is one second, not one minute. And of course, what's an iPad without an Apple Pencil? Well, an, an iPad, it, it's still an iPad. But myself, I like to draw and handwrite notes for school, so I personally really like the Apple Pencil, and in my case, I use it a lot since I'd rather not use paper notes. This pop-up asks if you like to only draw with the Apple Pencil, so anything you do with your hand only relates to scrolling or tapping, and any finger movements will not draw. You see it right there, folks. Don't judge my handwriting. It is crap, and I know it. I'm testing out the screen and Apple Pencil. I've heard it's a much better experience on the iPad Pros with the Apple Pencil 2, as opposed to the 9.7 inch 6th generation iPad I've been using with the first gen pencil, and so far it is true. I can't see anything. Meowing Nico, like and subscribe, smash that bell, leave suggestions in the comments below. <laughs> Let me know anything you'd like to see or anything you'd like me to test out on the iPad. Total seven minutes of screen time. Yeah, it is really high resolution. It really is. I bought Procreate and made a drawing in 4K, funny enough, accidentally. I only noticed when I ran out of layers when I shouldn't have and checked the quality. Whoops. Next is the very cheap Amazon case I got for the iPad. I chose this one because it wraps around the Apple Pencil. You'll see that when I snap that on later. It magnetically attaches and that little bit wraps around the pencil so that when I'm trying to slide my tablet in and out of a backpack or if it accidentally bumps into anything, the pencil won't go flying off into oblivion like other cases. I'm also demonstrating the correct way to fold this up as well as a little bit of wiggle room it has, which I expected to be a problem while drawing or writing in the flatter position, but it really wasn't, it's barely noticeable. It doesn't really make a difference. It also came with instructions on how to snap it on, which we're about to see now. And as always, you can't go wrong with a cheap case from Amazon. <laughs> Let's get rid of this foam bit. And there you go. Start with the very top of the iPad, line that up better than I did, and then just push in the bottom corners. It's slightly flexible, so it's really not difficult. So, um, uh, I have cats. All my things get very covered in fur and dust, so I just quickly use some nearby tape to take all that off before introducing it to my screen. You can see here it does cover the Apple Pencil completely. It's also a nice matte black, protects against fingerprints. The front is a faux leather kind of thing, and the inside of the cover is an almost microfiber-like material to protect the screen. 
I chose not to get a screen protector. The paper feel ones mess up the pencil tips and I didn't want a hard glass one that might mess with the pressure sensitivity. Oh, also the case does protect the camera module when laying flat and it will turn the screen on and off as you open and close it as you just saw. It looks like I had some trouble lifting the Apple Pencil. I've learned it's better to kind of roll it off as opposed to lifting straight up. It is easier than I made it seem, which might as well be the theme for the video at this point. And don't mind me, just showing off the impressive 120 hertz refresh rate butter of a screen. It's impressive as heck in person. And here's a speaker test. Watch out if you have headphones on. Boyfriend approved speakers. Aside from this demonstration, I don't think I've ever put the iPad speakers at full volume. It is really, really loud. And yes, I have a drawing glove. As I mentioned, I like to draw, but I would also highly recommend one if you want to take notes on a tablet as it minimizes accidental gestures and screen contact. This one's cheap, so it doesn't do the best job, but it's good enough, and I do get asked if I'm an artist whenever I pull it out. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you stick around. I have more videos to finalize and upload, including an ongoing room redecoration. Hit that like, subscribe, don't be afraid to leave me a comment, and I'll catch you in the next video. I lost myself. I lost my place. I lost my place.